So the gaze component can be used to activate and deactivate objects based on like a flip-flop system. So inside of the VR template blueprints and VR pawn, you'll see here on the left that we actually have a gaze interaction component underneath our camera or at least attached to our camera. So where the, where the camera rotates, it'll follow that direction. And on the right here, you can see you've got some settings. So you can actually disable this by default. So if you don't want the gaze component working or you don't need it in your template, rather than deleting it, you can just disable it here if you want to. But it does run on a tick, so it can be a little bit expensive. But um, you've also got options for trace distance, so how far away something is that you can interact with. The icon distance from the camera, so the little swirly bar that comes up. You can change how far away that is away from you to make it a little bit clearer to see. And then the gaze timer length. You can drive this, so rather than looking at something for two seconds, you could change this to one, and then it'll only take one second to activate the object you're looking at. So if we press play and we jump in, you can see that if we point or look at the object on the gaze wall, it rotates around and actually works pretty well. So it activates and deactivates. So if you're interested in actually taking a dive into this, you can find it in BP components and then gaze interaction component. And you'll see here, we've got two blueprints. We have a gaze interaction component itself. And then we actually have an actor the actor literally has the widget. So if you wanted to change the rotational image, you can change it here and you just have to set up the widget class. And then if you want to actually modify the gaze interaction, you can do that from inside of this blueprint. And all we do is we get out of and begin play. We check to see if we can use the gaze component. If we do, we get the VR pawn and then we go through and then we spawn the actor to it. So, the spawn actor is actually the gaze pointer that we just saw. And then we take that and we attach it to the screen. So rather than having it inside of the actual player pawn, it's all done through here. So if that's something you want to change, you can do. But that's pretty much it for the gaze interaction. And if you want to delete it, you can actually go to the VR pawn and just remove the gaze interaction component from here. To activate the gaze interaction on an actor, so all you have to do is open up your actor and then go to class settings. And you want to make sure it has the in implement interface for the VR gaze BPI. And once you've added that, if you hit compile, you can then get access to this event gaze hover. And this event is driven by the component itself. So it'll get the actor that it's hit. It'll fire through this. And then you can see here, we just kind of flip flop back and forth based on the color. So that's pretty much it for the gaze interaction.